Good morning, everyone. I'm just going to do a voiceover for this physique update. The one on the left was the very first episode of Beach Prep, and then on the right was today, Thursday. And I just think, you know, everything's kind of coming in a lot tighter. I don't feel as, like, bloated as before. Abs are definitely popping out more. Just got to get those bottom two to show up. But, yeah, the lighting is a little bit different. And the one on the right that I took today, this was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's already after a few meals. I'm seeing some more definition in my legs as well, which is always nice. And then just kind of had some fun here at the end. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Walk like I built this tent. Step so light. I barely touched the ground. Everybody wants to know. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it. So, showing you guys my first meal. On my low carb day, it is 10.49. I just had coffee this morning. When I am on my low carb days, I try to push my meals back as far as I can because on low carb days, your fats are gonna be higher. So I'm still eating the same amount of calories, but it's less food because one gram of fat is nine calories rather than four like it is for carbs and protein. So first meal, we're looking at two large white whole eggs the yogurt was 200 grams and 22 grams of the cookies and cream magnum of protein. So I'm going to eat this and get some work done and then go to the gym. That's why I drove to campus. Car is just over there. Gotta make a run for it. We made it. It is pouring. That's why I drove to campus today. It was just arms today, um, so I didn't record anything. Cause you guys said all the time. Maybe next week I'll get that recorded if I change anything up. Um, no abs, no cardio. That will all be tomorrow. These headphones I picked up yesterday. I'd probably say. They are a 7 out of 10. I don't know if I have a small head or what, but like they have the adjusting here, adjustments, make it bigger, but I almost need it smaller because they come down just slightly. Otherwise, it's really easy to use. You got the volume on the side. You can get calls on there too, but um, 7 out of 10, not too bad. Feeling kind of tired because I haven't eaten yet, and it is 2.37. And I only had that first meal that you guys saw, but I like working out in the middle of the day because I can go longer without food, especially on a low carb day. You know, it pushes my meals back, save my calories for more of the end of the day. But enough talking, I will see you guys next time I have food. I swear I'm hitting the floor I could swear that my stomach just sunk a meter I'll be dead if I take any more You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything Yet it doesn't feel like it should You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right, kind of anything And I would change it if I could, could, could
going, guys. You know, it's motivation, and I know that feeling of when you get a subscriber, and when you get a comment, and when you get a like. So what I just made was this the instant vanilla pudding. It's sugar-free, really nothing, and it's 30 calories for a serving. So I made two servings. I uh, kind of estimated as best as I could. It says seven grams is one serving. So I put in 14 grams of the mix and then added uh, um, 118 milliliters of milk, mixed that up, and then added 15 grams of the yogurt just to thicken up, thicken it up a little bit. This is really good for like when I have my low carb days because it's actually a good amount and it's pretty filling, so it's really thick, just like a smoothie or something like that. So this will hold me over until my last meal. It's like four o'clock right now, but definitely filling. It's good volume. That's the key for low carb days. It tastes so good though. And it's sugar free. So you can't complain, I'm gonna eat this. We've got some work to do. But I'll see you guys next time I'm eating something. But low carb day is going pretty well. Just try to drink plenty of water throughout the day. I know that the next day I get to have more carbs. Don't worry, the video is not over. Still have plenty of food left to eat, but I wanted to kind of jump in here real quick and say, I'm not gonna totally explain my reasons for my numbers on this low carb day just yet. And tomorrow's video will be my full day of eating at a high carb day. And after you see both of those videos, then I will go over carb cycling, where I got the numbers from and why, and how it's all gonna play out and work at the end based on my averages. So I'm not gonna explain it in this video. I'm not gonna explain it in the next video, but it'll be in the following one. So just hang tight. I just kinda wanna see how it's gonna play out and then I'll have all my information for you guys. But by showing you my low carb day and my high carb day, you'll be able to tell what I'm talking about and kind of be on the same page. But I think that's gonna explain, help explain it a little bit better. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Got you guys on my new tripod. It works out really nicely. I like it nice and sturdy so again that was i think like the spider tripod so if you're looking for one that's a good one and then if you saw when i went to the grocery store the other day i got the fresca soda it's peach citrus and let me tell you it tastes amazing uh, it's a sparkling flavored soda so this is really key for my low carb days i mean i've only done two low carb days it hasn't really bothered me you know not having so much carbs just yet but it probably will but zero calories, it does have one gram of carbs, which I do keep track of. I just put it along with all my supplements. It's pretty good. I definitely recommend it if you need something other than just water throughout your day. And then also multivitamin that I'll be taking. I normally take it in the morning with breakfast, but I forgot. So just one of these 23 key nutrients for daily nutritional support and with iron. So that's all I take right now. But yeah, I've got a ton of work to do. Gonna get to that and I'll see you guys later. So underneath here we have 100 grams of green beans, 300 grams of white potatoes, about 150 grams of chicken breast, and then two whole eggs on there. And I mean it's it's a good sized bowl too. So let's see if we can get some yolk on. Let's see. There we go. And before I forget, we've got more fats to add. So this is 35 grams of cheddar cheese, just right on top of there. Let that melt. And so good. You probably wouldn't think to put all of this together, but. It's good. So final meal of the day as I'm editing this video. It's about nine o'clock and I've got two plain rice cakes and 35 grams of roasted peanuts. I've kind of been eating them as I go, so the whole serving isn't there, but they're not too bad. 
Got it from Whole Foods. Final macros for the day is 176.5 grams of protein, 148.6 carbs, and 76.4 fat. And you'll see that I put supplements in there. I put five grams. That's just between, you know, vitamins and pre-workout, coffee stuff, the um, Fresca soda that I had. So I just add that in there so I can calculate it. So those are the final macros for the day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. You know, tomorrow will, tomorrow's video will be the high carb day, so I'll show you that. Then the video following it will go over all the macros, how I got to that, and how I'm going to hit those numbers and why they are what they are. So if you did like this, please like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. as always. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about the giveaways. And as always, have a great day.